You're watching First News at 4 on KBTX. Psychological distress can affect preventive care that folks need to get. That's according to a recent study by school by Texas A&M School of Public Health scholars, including Dr. Sherry Lynn leading up that study. So, Dr. Lynn, who did you find to be most psychologically distressed throughout the course of this study? So, in our study, we found out that uh, there's no difference between women and uh, men in their level of psychological distress. However, when we look at the psychological called distress among older adults, those uh, racial minorities, those people who have a lower educational level, usually they have a higher level of psychological distress. And so what are you finding that that psychological distress affects? What, what, how does that come into play here? So in our study, we look at five recommended uh, preventive health services, which include breast cancer screening, colorectal cancer screening, uh, blood cholesterol, blood pressure, and then use of flu shots. So among these five services, uh, we didn't see any significant difference in the use of colorectal cancer screening, blood pressure, uh, blood cholesterol, and flu shot. The only difference that we see is that among those people who have psychological distress, they are less likely to get breast cancer screening. Interesting. So the yeah. more psychological distress, and you're pointing that out in certain mm -hmm. demographics, the more psychological distress, the less chance that they will get these breast cancer screenings. Yes. Uh, why does this matter, especially considering the demographics who are more psychologically distressed? So we think this is very important because that those people who have psychological distress study has shown that they are less likely to use healthcare services, just any kind of healthcare services. So, uh, and then people, uh, women who have psychological distress, they are usually uh, have the lack of, uh, you know, they're just not feeling well. So because of these uh, mental distress, they are less likely to use these services. So we want to make sure that even these people have psychological distress, they are still getting these recommended preventive services because we know that preventive services can help people uh, prevent a disease from happening. And if we are able to find a, you know, if we found there's something wrong with the person, we can fix them earlier. Sure, sure. Yeah. All right. And that's the next step, I guess, is find yes. out how to address this issue. Yes. Uh, but we're out of time for today. Dr. Sherry Lynn uh, over at the Texas A&M School of Public Health. Thank you so much. Thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate it. <laughs>